hello everyone welcome back to tech cloud channel in today's video we are going to discuss about ssh handshake so in this video we will talk about like what is ssh what is ssh handshake client hello server acceptance key exchange and we will also look into some failed or the issues we face during the ssh handshake so let's first see what is ssh SSH stand for secure cell and it's a cryptographic network protocol that provide a secure access a securely access to the network resources it also provide access or you, we can manage the remote computers or devices remotely and that helps to manage the remote computer and devices over unsecured network it provide encrypted communication that ensure the data privacy and integrity of the traffic now let's see the ssh handshakes here on the screen you can see there is a host a and uh, the between the server which is tech cloud so they are communicating over ssh which is port number 22 ssh has port number 22 they are communicating over a secure channel or encrypted channel there everything they are communicating over or every data they are sharing is encrypted or we can say in general language on in a unreadable format on unreadable text what actually they do so they fall for the sss protocol and uh, that form a secure and encrypted channel for the communication it is between a client and the server they also exchange some secret handshake and uh, then it is exchanging a sensitive information between client and server over the communication and that process between the source and the destination between the server and the host they break down some process that called as client hello server hello and key exchange that provide a secure and private network for the data now let's see so here we have a host a and the another server what happened a client initially send a connection to connect to the server after that server reply back to the client or server send a reply to the client with the public key there they negotiate some parameter that parameter called as the encryption algorithm hashing algorithm some and then they open a secure channel there the user get login into the ssh server or ssh destinations what they actually exchange let's see here so on the client hello when a client send a hello message to the server that hello message called as ssh message kex key exchange initiation means into that client hello the client will send ssh version then it will send the key exchange algorithms it will send the encryption algorithm it will send mac like message authentication code algorithm compression algorithm language public key algorithm other option cookies and it will also include the first key exchange packet flow onto that client hello the server will reply back to the client that reply called as the ssh message key exchange ecdh reply so onto that reply server will send again the ssh version that is matching according to the client then the key exchange algorithm similar encryption algorithm match with the client mac compression algorithm language public key algorithm other option and the cookies once they exchange so what they exchange actually that is this thing so when they exchange they exchange this algorithm this key exchange then this symmetric cipher then mac and server host key algorithms this is the algorithm they use like ecdh sh2 nist tp 256 and the others then accordingly they use as 256 as uh, the cipher symmetric cipher and then they also use the mac like H hmac host mac sha2 and then 256 and under the server host key algorithm they use some rsa ssh rsa keys so that's how they communicate here on the screen we can also see like some way of ssh input for the ssh we can use a putty application it's an application we can download from the windows and there we can just see 
uh, we can just put the host name or the IP address of the destination server or SSH server and then we can just go with the SSH or even we can try it from the CMD command prompt by putting this command like SSH and the IP and the username or we can have like this SSH user at the IP address when we do SSH we can also have some kind of problem or we can face some issues like SSH handshake failed so if there is a handshake failed means they are unable to match the key exchange the server and client is not able to match the key exchange then we can see authentication error authentication error means whoever is trying to access that SSH server is not allowed to access or maybe they are putting the wrong credential we can see like connection refuse connection refuse means access to that SSH server is blocked it may be blocked by some local firewall endpoint security or the network firewall then we can see some key mismatch so for the key mismatch we can see in the error output or we can look into the wiresack analyze we can look into the wiresack log so that can be because of the new key change the key has been changed between the server the server has upgraded or replaced so it might be possible that client is trying to connect with the same server IP but that server is physically changed and having the old IP like that then we can see the slow response slow response is somehow a network issues that the server is not responding quickly and then our packet is also taking some long time to reach to the destination server and there it is getting it can be possible of like multiple host in in between multiple hopes in between the source and the destination server crash login crash login means there must be or there might be a session limitation that in case somebody else like from maximum five user after five user if somebody else logging then they will have the crash login we can also see kind of like ssh window disappear so the moment we open ssh and then enter the ip that window just disappear so that may be because it is unable to connect to the server it might be possible of the application issue or then we may be having kind of like internet issue in our local desktop or laptop from where we are trying to access to the server so this is all about ssh thank you for watching please do like comment share and subscribe and let us know in case of